Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'd like to show you how to work with jumper feature with Creo Parametric 4.0. At, at the beginning we will create new 3D model. If you start from scratch the system will create new 3D model and over there are placed three datum place and coordinate systems. The system will start from the template and this template is possible to define in configuration for Creo Parametric. How to configure the Creo Parametric stay tuned and I will show you in the next tutorial how to define and specify the templates for solid, sheet metal and assembly. But today I'd like to focus on the chamfer feature, so we have to create some for geometry. I will create new extrude. In the extrude will be really the shape, some rectangle, and we can specify the new dimensions here there. So you can use the right mouse button and function modify, set new value and confirm OK. Specify the depth, size, and Okay, right now I don't want to see the datum features, so I will switch off these datum features and I'd like to see the model shading with edges. If I spin the model, you can see here that right now the system will spin model around the spin center. You can switch off the spin center and the system will spin the model ar ar around the mouse. So right now, if you will spin the model over here, you can see, or if I will move the mouse on the left top corner, the system will move the object around the, my mouse. I use this function for the big objects or whole assembly because sometimes you need to focus on small part and you need to spin the model around this edge and so on. It was on the explanation how to manipulate with the mouse. We would like to create a new chamfer feature. And you can see here that we have a two possibility. We can create edge chamfer or corner chamfer. I will start with corner chamfer. And it's really easy. What we need to select is vertex of the object. So select vertex and system will create three dimensions for you. You can see D1, D2 and D3 and you can specify separately from the ribbon menu or directly from 3D. It's up to you. If you would like to finish, no problem. You can finish or select the definition from the flyout menu and in the placement tab you can change the vertex, for example, over here. And if I confirm OK, you have really easy change the placement for your corner. So it was quick and really easy. So with corner chamfer you can really easy specify the corner, dimensions and finish. If you would like to continue with chamfer feature you can select select edge chamfer. It means that you can select the edge and the system will create the chamfer on this edge. You can move the dragger or you can specify the dimensions. Right now you can see the system will create the chamfer for me D per D40. You have a lot of options how you can specify the chamfer and you can for example select dimension 1 per dimension 2. Right now the system will specify two different dimensions for the chamfer for me and the first one will be, for example, number 15 and the another one will be 80. The question is, if you would like to flip this function, it's no problem, you can flip directly here. So the system will change the orientation D1 and D2. It works same if you select the another edge. For example, I will select the edge. You can see here that flyout menu automatically show me that it is the possible to create the edge chamfer here. And you don't want to create D1 
but you would like to create another type it's an angle per d and you can see here that you can specify the angle or dimensions or another type is the 45 per dimension so automatically the system will create 45 degree per dimensions another option is you can specify O per O and O1 per O1. The better explanation is if I will show you in another example. Okay, I don't want to see this information, so I will delete and I'd like to start from the different shape. You know that it's possible to select the definition for the, for the extrude feature and over there is the function at taper and I'd like to specify the taper. On this example I'd like to explain to you what does it mean O per O. Again, you can select the icon from the menu or you can select the edge and icon from the flyout menu. It's up to you what you want to use. Right now you can see the system will create for me D per D. Or you can switch or I will select the dimension 20 and right now the dimension is 20 millimeters from selected edge to active point to the dragger yeah but if you change it to o per o the system will change dimension from 20 to 20 27 per 27 millimeters 0.03 and you can see if i will go back to d per d it will be again 20. So over there is the sum math and the math, like I said, I will explain on the attached picture. Again over here, I will specify dimension 20, but I'd like to change it to O per O, and you can see the dimension a little bit different. Okay, again here, I will change D per D, it's 20. And if you change back to O per O, it's different value. Everything depends about the angles of your shape. Okay. So right now you know how to work and specify different type of the chamfer scheme. The chamfer scheme is the possible to set in config options and configuration editor and over there you can add chamfer scheme we have to set for example 45 per d if i will add this configuration options here okay you can confirm okay and the system will ask you if you would like to save it for now i'd like to only use it i i don't want to save this function what does it mean if you will specify the configuration options and you will create new chamfer, the system will automatically use the predefined scheme. So it's really useful and really practice. But you have to be careful. If you have a not 90 degree shape, you have to change it to O per O and then it's okay. I will change it a little bit again and I don't want to use the taper you can switch off directly from the ribbon or from the right mouse button and again create a new chamfer and you can see right now the system will show me def predefined default scheme 45 per D I will select and specify dimensions and with control button you can specify more than one sets yeah so one in first sets i specify two edges and the another sets i like to specify different value so it's really similar to round feature you can work with sets you can confirm if you need to add or remove some sets or you can select at the definition with control button you can add or remove the edges 
or you can go here and delete sets or add the new one. So everything depends about your shape. In my last video tutorials, I was spoken about the really quick selection of the edges for round feature. It's a similar if you will work with chamfer and work same. So I'd like to create the chamfer on that edge, but I don't want to use only that this one edge, but I like to select the right mouse button and then the system show me information that the system will create the chamfer on the intent edges from the extrude feature. So you can use the vertical intent edges. Yeah, so we only select that right now the system really quickly create the chamfer here. Yeah, I will finish it. And for what is it good? It is really powerful because if you if I will delete Yeah, in my model tree, I will leave only chamfer two created chamfer on intent edges on vertical intent edges. While I would like to use the intent edges, if I will change shape for extrude feature, and for example, I will add the another tape here, shape here. So you can see that I can add something and if I will finish the system automatically create the chamfer on definite intent edges. Yes, yeah? so if I will select the definition, you can see the system will automatically create the chamfer for me correctly. And the question is, if I will delete the information from model tree and I'd like to create intent edges on top or bottom surface. So select the chamfer feature, move the mouse to one edge and select right mouse and left mouse and left click. The system will create the chamfer as intent edge. You can use it on the button too. So for example, if I use the control button and then right mouse button and left, the system will create the chamfer or same chamfer on these edges. And you would like to ask me if it is possible to create vertical intent changes too. So select again control button that I'd like to add and right and left. And right now you can see that I was really quickly make a same chamfer for whole edges on my 3D model. I know this shape is really easy, but I'd like to show you how the system select the information from the menu. Yeah, in the sets, you can see the system will create for me three, three sets. No, in one set was selected three intent edges, top one, bottom one, and vertical. You can delete or remove if you need. Okay. I'd like to continue. The best practice is if I will show you everything on one file, I don't want to create 1000 extra feature or ribble feature and different shape. I'd like to describe the chamfer. The question is if you would like to create a chamfer on that edge and you would like to automatically connect this chamfer to this point. So you would like to use something like create chamfer, but not specify the dimension, but specify the reference. Over here is the information that you can use that you don't want to use the values, but you would like to use the reference. And right now I will select that point. So what is it good? If you will change this shape, the system will automatically will be attached this chamfer to that edge. And my colleague said, OK, it is working with chamfer. It is working with round feature too. And I said, yeah, OK, you, you don't know how to do it. Spin the model, create round, create round here. And right now we would like to go here. OK, no problem. Select sets. You don't want to use the value, but reference and select the point. And if you change the shape of this one, the system will automatically 
change the radius based on the reference. Okay, so it was example how to work with reference for the chamfer and round dimensions. And what about if you create tangent edges? So you would like to create a chamfer on that edge and you can see here again that system will automatically continue on, as a tangent. So he will continue with chamfer feature. You can go again to pieces, select piece one and you would like to create chamfer only as a piece and the system will create similar like weight round feature. So the logic is same. And if you would like to stop at reference, no problem. You can create new chamfer. And right now you would like to create a chamfer here, but you would like to stop at reference. You can create datum point on the fly. So select this menu on the right. We want to create a point on that edge. And you can choose if you would like to work with ratio or real, and you can specify the dimensions. So for example, 120 millimeters it will be my reference point yeah it was created here and I'd like to continue with chamfer feature and use the transition mode and this transition will be stop at reference on that point yeah perfect I like it very powerful and if you work with surface modeling you can create a chamfer as quilt so no problem specify the edge and then you can select that i'd like to create only surfaces and over there is the function create and surfaces and system will create necessary surfaces if you want yeah so for example like this and for what it is good, you can use it for the intersection and you can copy some faces and make a solidify feature. Yeah, for example, really quickly make a cut by surface, a chamfer and solidify feature. How to use the solidify feature again, stay in touch and I, I will show you later in the next tutorials how to work with all Creo features. Okay, let's continue with chamfer. I have shown you that it is possible to create different type of the chamfer and how you can manage your references and create and stop the information at the references. And if you have a question about the transition, okay, let's start. We can create a chamfer again on selected edge and specify dimensions. Again, you can specify different type. And you can see here that system will create the intersection here. Yeah, if you have a three or more or less selected edges, the system will create some shape. If I will use the only I like to see how it will look. Okay, I don't know. I'd like to change the transition over here. So select it and you can use the patch. And right now you can see that it will be looks a little bit different like default. Or you can use the corner plate and you can specify how it looks. Yeah. So right now it's up to you what is better for you and always depends how many edges and what dimension do you have defined. Again, for example, I will change the shape a little bit. And for example, this one will be different. Okay, let me choose something different. Right now the system will always create this one and the patch is different. Okay. So it was a quick example that again with chamfer feature it's really easy to manage the transitions. And last but not least it's the example 
how we can use the chamfer on predefined selected edges not one but more so again i will delete existing one and here is the question where you would like to create the chamfer i'd like to show you that is the possible to create the chamfer between two surfaces and i would like to change it a little bit yeah so i will change the shape directly from 3d and if i will select the chamfer the system will ask me select one edge so i can select one edge or you can select opposite and you can select surface the surface and again the system will create the chamfer between surfaces so you can see here that it is really similar that you can work with edges or selected surfaces and how the system will specify if you will select the chamfer on one edge but you would like to work with pieces i like to work with this piece and i like to go around that edges so you can see here that right now the system will work a little bit different and the system will create really nice chamfer something like belt but you said okay three are correct and this one is not so good no 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 you can go back to transition mode you can select and use the function blend and looks perfectly smoothly like you want okay so this is the final results how you can work with pieces in another example and with selection again you can select the chamfer you can select one edge and one, with surface selection the system will go around and say create system that will be attached it automatically correctly I observe that you like my example how to create generate and edit chamfer features with CreoParametric 4.0 and thank you one more time bye bye Adieu.